the founder of the International Day of the Boy Child, and lecturer Dr. Jerome Teloxing described parental alienation as a pandemic. He added that this trend has worsened since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, resulting in more debilitating effects on both parents and children. Pandemic. Parental alienation is the other pandemic that we don't talk about. Parental alienation is a virus that has affected many families across the world. This virus has mutated and interestingly, many governments, many NGOs, non-governmental organizations have ignored the issue of parental alienation. Parental alienation has various mutations. There is no vaccine. Many people are afraid to try to solve it or find a cure. And what I have realized is that before COVID-19, before this pandemic and after pandemic, parental alienation has worsened. Before the pandemic, there were courts as usual, the legal system was operating, people were moving around so that children had parenting time. They were able to go by that parent, the alienated parent for custody time. But now with the pandemic, you know, and the state of emergency and with curfew and shortened hours, many children are often denied access to, to that parent. So I've realized that during the pandemic, this has affected parental alienation has become worse not just in Trinidad, but around the world. In fact, some of the alienated parents, some of the parents who are supposed to have custody of their children, some of them were sick with the virus, some of them were hospitalized. So it has become very difficult for children to see that parent um, who they are supposed to be with. What I've realized in Trinidad and Tobago and the rest of the Caribbean is that Parental alienation affects both men and women.